Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the Sense of Pop channel. If I were to give a grade for series 11, like how much I am enjoying this set, it's gonna get a really good grade, like a grade A. The reason is I'm really enjoying playing the decks, like for example, like Broly BR, such an enjoyable deck, Dark Broly, totally in love with the deck, the mechanics, it, it's just so, so nicely designed and it's so theme, right? So Broly BR is theme, Dark Broly is theme. But my personal favorite would have to be this guy. It seems like a deja vu because I've done Gallic Junior deck profile in this channel before. However, with the launch of the expansion pack, Gallic Junior, in my opinion, got the most power boost out of uh, every single one that they designed for. And also I've been playing Gallic Junior every single week since the launch, so I do have a lot of experience. The deck has changed so much since the, uh, the first deck profile, so I decided maybe with the expansion pack it is time to revisit this deck profile and give it a good clean update. And of course to spread the cult of Gallic Junior. So without further ado, we see each other after the short intro, alright? Hey guys, I want to welcome you back from the intro. So what is the Gallic Junior deck profile all about? It is uh, about just flooding your board with Demon Clan cards and swing with them. They can be aggressive and they can be defensive at the same time. There are several ways to play your Demon Clan cards and cheat them out for free. Most of them are two drops, but they punch hard because uh, they are servants. Most, some of them are servants, which is 20k and every single one of them has a special effect that you want to make use of. Uh, when you uh, summon them and de depending on the different situation that you're gonna use them to uh, use them differently all right and this card this this deck has a lot and a lot of card drawing ability if you play it right you're gonna be in really really good hands yep so let's talk about the leader so the leader is this Gallic Junior Overlord once per turn. So you, you, what is Overlord skills? If you have a battle card that has seven, you get to choose that card, put it underneath your deck, and then you draw a card. Really good ability, and we're gonna abuse this ability in this deck. And when it comes to Overlord skills, like uh, Broly BR has it, Majin Vegeta has it, but in Gallic Junior, it is the best implementation of it. So also when this card attacks, draw a card, really good. When you're four or less life, or you have a unison card with three, you get to awaken. And when he awakens, I'm just gonna wait for the animation once again. Uh, Gallic Junior, the immortal demons, Overlord. You do have Overlord over here, so you can use Overlord on his side. Flip it over, you're gonna use it again when he awakens. You can do that, remember. When the card attacks, you get to draw a card. And when one of your opponent's battle card attacks, or one of your opponent's cards attack, leader card, unison card, whatever, when he attacks, um, you may choose one yellow demon cl can clan card with two. Every single one of them is two. In this deck, you play in rest mode if you do negate the skills for the turn. So when they attack, you can get to play it. Even if you counter attack, even if you want to de declare blocker, you can still use this uh, ability. So counter attack, you go first, then you use his ability. All right, so this is the leader. I'm going to show you how to use this leader's ability. So how do you use this leader's ability, the second one, right? The best way is to either use Master Roshi, which is Demonic Transformation, or Chichi Demonic Transformation. This two card gains the most out of your uh, leader's auto. Because Master Roshi, when he comes into play, you get to draw a card. And uh, they come into play tap. That is very important. I'm going to show you why later. And Chi Chi Demonic Transformation. Chi Chi is one of the best, but Master Roshi draws you a card. Why not? And flood your board with Demon Clan. Uh, so you have a plus one Demon Clan card on your board. And Chi Chi, uh, when he, she comes into play, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card or unison card and tap them. Really good. So when their leader swings, you Chi Chi tap one of their unison card or their battle card and then they couldn't swing. All right, that's great. That's great. Okay, another way to flood, so that is a plus one, right? For zero energy, you get to play a Demon Clan card on board. Uh, Mark Your Star is also really good because Mark, Mark Your Star, I play four off. When you activate this card, you look up to top five. So it is a searcher and he, he is one of your, your own youth. He is your only way to bring up your big, uh, big Gallic Junior. He is the only card that could draw it. So can search for it. Choose up to one yellow Demon Clan card among them and add it into hands. Chi Chi, Master Roshi, Yamcha, Boma, they are all Demon Clans. And if your leader is a yellow demon clan card, at the end of your turn, you get to choose one yellow demon clan and you play it with the skills negated. Not in rest mode, 
but it's skills negated. So what is the best way to play this? Um, I play four copies of Marcus Star because no matter what, he is a one call searcher. So you could re easily replace it if you want to. You ne need the proper cards to get into your hands. Marcus Star is one of the ways to do it. At the end of the turn, you get to play a card. However, Gas U is not one of the target. It, it can be one of the target. However, Gas U is I play three of, and he you discard him and you go to your uh, deck and to search a Marcus Star and put it into your hands. He is really really good in that in that way. All right, but the best way, the best card to play. Marcus Star is actually Boma and Yamcha Demonic Transformation. Boma is uh, activate main once per turn. You look up to top five and you can search for a Unison card or a Demon Clan card and add it into hands. Unfortunately, because your big Garlic Junior has five calls, you cannot search it with Boma, but she searches everything else, even your super combo. Yes, we are playing Demon Clan super combo because I like it. All right. And Yamcha Demonic Transformation, he is a blocker and servant. So at the end of the turn, um, because their skills are negated, it, so if you play Chi Chi, you play Rashi, it doesn't really make sense to play with them because their skills will be negated. Rashi and Chi Chi has come into play effect. Boma and Yamcha does not. So when they come into play, they are a 20k. This is a 20k swing the next turn and she has the ability for you to do a search and then Yamcha is a 20k blocker that could swing. Alright, so that's really good. So. Another way to flood your board is actually with Vinegar, their second effect. So you do have the proper Demon Clan, not the Demonic Transformation, but the proper Demon Clan card, which is uh, Vinegar. Vinegar is really good because when you are playing him, you look up to top 5, you find a Demon Clan, 2 or less, and then you play it in rest mode, but not with the skills negated, in rest mode, and then uh, shuffle your deck. So you could uh, activate uh, things like Roshi, things like Chi Chi, so it's very very good with this guy when he comes into play you have two demon clan cards the goal here is that you want two cards in rest mode two demon clan yellow cards in rest mode ye yellow battle card in rest mode or four demon clan cards on your board okay it's uh, but you are not going to pay two energy for this guy or you are not going to use mark your star because it doesn't matter because he comes into play effect uh so but you can also use him with your leader's ability so your leader when you play him he comes into play tap activate his ability then another card comes into play tap so you have two tap cards just like that really good and uh, also tap one yellow if your leader card it's a yellow demon clan when you activate overlord skills you get to play from your hands so overlord one of your server cards like boma yamcha back into deck draw one tap one play him and then you play two other cards on the board just like that really good and then a uh, tado tado is very very um uh, how do you say that situational but he comes into play the same way so you can tap one and when your when overlord skills is activated you can tap two and play both of them if you want to but uh when he's play choose one of your opponent's battle card it cannot untap during uh your opponent next turn during your opponent's next turn it cannot untap really good all right, so we are going to talk about your main card. And also here is where we talk about the expansion upgrade. Garlic Jr., Commander of the Demon Clan. Unfortunately, we are not playing that. But fortunately, we got a better card now. This is Garlic Jr., Immortal Avenger. It is indestructible and it comes up at one cost. Also, tap one when you active when one of your yellow Demon Clan card and it's your turn when it is removed from a battle card by a skill. You know what is a skill? Overlord is a skill. So when you activate Overlord, you draw a card and then you tap one, you play him and you play this card from your hand. So for one energy, you have a three cost. I don't really use the second auto very much, but maybe it's situational. But then you have Garlic Jr. Overlord of the Demon Realm. This guy just evolves straight. So now, instead of paying 3 for your Garlic Jr. And then the next turn you evolve, now it's just 1 energy, 2 energy. You get to bring this guy out in turn 2. If you have those cards in your hands, it's gonna be guaranteed. And uh, he has an Overlord skill, so now you can activate Overlord. The second time he is unique, he is indestructible, he is critical, he has critical, 30k critical, it's disgusting to deal with him. Activate main once per turn, this is the one that is really good. You get to look at the bottom of the deck, and if it's a server card, you play it. Okay, so you can activate Overlord, put it underneath your deck, and then activate uh, seven skills, uh, activate his skills, put that card back into your deck. I'm going to show you how to use this. Alright, so I'm going to show you now two combos that you can use for uh, two maybe ways to play. This is like a turn one play that you want to do. What you can do here is uh, first 
market star, look at top five, find the cards that you need, put it into your hands at the end of the turn, play Boma or Yamcha. Now you have a servant. This is turn one, right? And now you have this board set up. And after that turn two, what you can do here is you swing with your Boma, swing for 20k, actually. If you think about that, activate servant skills, you get to draw one, and then you use Garlic Jr. So you tap Garlic Jr. because you activate Overlord skills, you play Garlic Jr. back into the uh, area. Tap one, evolve uh, Garlic Jr., the big one, on top of it. Then use his uh, underneath that second card because remember, you put Boma back into underneath your deck, ain't it? So now you're pretty sure that the bottom deck, bottom of the deck, that card, it's gonna be Boma. So use his skill, bring Boma back onto the deck, and then swing with Boma again. So now you swing with 20k. So your second turn, you really swing once with 20k. Now you're gonna swing second time with 20k. But then after you swing with Boma, you use this Overlord skill, bring Boma back into the deck to draw another card. Now it is already a draw two in turn two, and you have not even awakened yet. That is a draw two. So Boma goes back into uh, the deck, and then you draw another one. You're gonna swing with 30k, another crit. So 20k, 20k, 30k, and and then you get a swing 10k and then you gotta draw another card three cards draw in this uh turn to uh, play all right so this is like the best way that you can start the game so um, you evolve him already now your opponent has to every single time deal with a uh, 30k so there is another way that you can do a lot of card draws which is uh with garlic jr so when your opponent swings imagine right you, it's your opponent turn your opponent swings you activate garlic jr second ability and then you're gonna play roshi in rest mode and when roshi comes into play you get to draw a card so he ends his turn now you have roshi on the board you use one of the overlords ability put roshi back into the deck draw one more and then you use your garlic jr's ability to bring roshi back you draw one more because Roshi now comes into play and it's a new turn. So you draw one more. Now with Roshi, you already draw uh, two. Is it two? Yes. Draw two. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Don't do math on uh, videos. And then uh, you can swing with Roshi again. So it's a 20k swing. And after that, you activate your second Overlord because you have two. Bring Roshi back into the, the deck and then you draw another one. Yes, I think it's a draw four, sorry. So when you play Rashi, you draw one, Overlord, you draw two. When Rashi comes back into play, you draw one, yes. And then you use a Galaxy Junior ability. Again, second Overlord, you draw four. So with just one card and zero cost, you draw four, and then you get a Rashi swing, and then the Galaxy Junior. One of the ways also that you can also use uh, Yamcha, you swing with Yamcha with Blocker, put it back into the deck, you draw one, then use him to put Yamcha back. Now you also have another Blocker. The reason why I talk about uh, why we need cards in rest mode and then we need four cards, uh, it's because of this. Baby Resolute Avenger. Such a great unison card together with your leader because when you play him, you get to awaken and uh, he is a blocker in a plus one. He, at the end of the turn, you switch it to rest mode minus two. You get to choose one of your uh, yellow battle card, mono yellow battle card with energy five or less and switch it to active mode. If you think about this guy, the permanent it's even crazier because if you have two or more yellow battle card in rest mode this card and your leader card gets 5k power it is not during your turn not during your opponent's turn once you have two it becomes uh it becomes like a 10k uh, you get the extra 5k so 20k 20k so you can use it aggressively when you swing or you use it defensively when you defend yourself and with a leader's ability if you play vinegar which is the card that brings out another card immediately you get the extra 5k boost just like that if your opponent clears the board you can do it when your opponent swings at you ba -bam, now you get an extra 5k and now uh, this is a 20k blocker and your leader has a permanent plus 5k which is 20k so much harder just to hit yep and uh, of course we have prideful transformation this card is so good in this deck because he taps something that comes into play and at the same time he is a blocker himself so he does too he blocks an attack for you and he taps something really good card and he comes in for zero cost and uh we are gonna play energy field as a negate such a good card because Minimum, it's gonna negate the attack. However, if you have four or more demon cards in play, it doesn't have to be in rest mode. Rest mode is just for the uh, unison card. But if you have four or more demon clan cards in play, your opponent can attack once more. It's not like Topo where they can pay a cost and try to attack again. No, 
they can only attack once more. Units a card, battle card, their leader card, they pick one more attack this turn. And then you have blockers on the board anyways. Uh, your baby Resolute Avengers, it's a blocker anyways. It's finished. But what's better? You know why? What's better? If you have four more Tifa Clan cards, you don't have to pay any energy. So this card is free. And then, um, yeah. So yeah, if you have four more. So every single card that you play, except for Vegeta, it's going to be Demon Clan. So it's going to be pretty easy to reach that uh, stuff. So it literally just shut down uh, any play. We are not going to be playing Nimbus. We have something even better. Solar Flare. That is my tech choice. Uh, when it comes to Solar Flare, counter attack, negate the attack. If your leader card is yellow, choose up to one of your yellow battle card with energy two or less and it gains blocker for the turn. So your Roshi, whatever you're playing, your Tado, because every single card, it's a yellow demon clan, uh, yellow card, yellow battle card, two or less, they are going to be blocker. So you negate one attack and then you gain a blocker, just like that. Right, so this is the deck profile. I'm sorry, I think it took some time, but I think you can understand why. Because uh, there is really a lot to go through, and I want to share what all this knowledge that I've gained, right? But you can see over here, there's one card that we will be playing. It is going to be full Shrouded in Mystery. So if you are playing a long game and your opponent has a lot of blockers, you have a lot of blockers, just slap full down and go for the game. So this is the SCR of choice in my deck because this is basically the game ender and then you have so much swing because like there's a 20k 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 and then with this ability you can recycle them and swing again if you want to chi chi is also 20k uh they are going to be so good and with the overlord's ability you are going to be drawing so much cards don't you will not find yourself if you're playing it right you will not find yourself uh having a small hand with this one yep so this is basically the deck. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. This is my take on the Gallic Juniors uh, deck profile. I believe that as much as theme as possible, this is basically the, the, the best out there. Yep, I just said that. <laughs> I play with this every single week and I really enjoy it. And it just takes out uh, opponent without them knowing it because they really underestimate the deck, what it can do. Um, yep, so this is one of the decks that it's also really cheap. I think there's $70. <laughs> yep, so hey guys, I hope you like it. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys in the next video. All right, ciao, bye.